How's it going, everyone? This is Kenny from Movie Measure. I wanted to take a few minutes to go over the new Checker Portal, or the ICAP, which is available now on our website, movie-measure.com. And what this portal is going to allow you to do is not only update your profile and your banking information, but also to be able to request assignments and see what's available in your area so that you no longer have to email us or call us in order to get assignments. Currently, the portal is only active for trailer check assignments, but eventually we are going to be adding functionality for ad check assignments and installs. And so we are going to request that if you already have an account, then you go into the portal and update your checker information, your profile and your banking information, because the portal is going to request some additional more specific information about your uh, interest in certain types of assignments and your availability and other things like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is assuming you already have an account, visit our website at movie-measure.com and click the login button at the top right corner of the screen and then it'll bring you to the login page and so you're going to want to log in with your email and your movie measure password and then it's going to take you to this screen which is going to give us some additional information about your location and the types of assignments that you're interested in and your availability so you're going to want to type in all of your information so type in some stuff You select your radius as well, how many miles you're comfortable traveling for, your device type, and then whatever you're interested in, and then also your availability, and then we're going to click Submit. And so it'll say updated successfully, and then it might take a second to load here, but it should go to the next screen now, which is going to be updating your banking information. And so you're going to select which banking or which payment method you prefer, whether it's PayPal or banking. In this case, we're going to go with PayPal, and I'll type in my email address and click Save, and it'll say updated uh, payment details successfully, and then it'll take another second to load here. And then it's going to go to the tax information, and so you'll select whether you're an individual or a business. Most likely, you're going to be an individual. It'll ask you for various information. And then it'll also have you download a W-9 tax form, so you'll need to download this and then upload it. So if you want to download it and then um, upload it, uh, that would be great. You can either print it out or you can use some sort of online uh, uh, website to be able to fill in the form and then you just need to sign it and then upload it. Okay, so once you go through all of that information, the profile update, the banking information, and then the tax form, it'll bring you to the find work page. And so here it'll have a list of the available assignments. This is calculated based on your zip code. And then if you need to update your information, you can click on your profile icon in the upper right hand corner and you can go to your profile to update whatever's in your profile or you can update your tax information. Uh, make sure you put in your social security number as well. And then you can also update your banking information and you can switch between PayPal and bank account if you want, or you can change your PayPal, whatever you need to do. And then if you want to go back to the assignments page, you click up here, find work, and then it will bring you back to the available assignments list based in, uh, in your area. And if you're interested in any of these assignments, then you can click on this request assignment button and you'll answer this and then you'll press uh, no or yes. And so that's a basic overview of the new checker portal. If you have any questions, you can feel free to post them in the comments down below and we will answer them as soon as possible. But besides that, I hope this video was useful and I hope you also have a great day.